All right, folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com, and Tom has heard your complaints. Tom will make a short video that just shows things that are radioactive and a detector. Why? Because people apparently really, 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 really like that. Like gratuitous stuff. So here we go. Oh, look, one of my previous experiments. Oops. All right, so let's take a detector. Here's a detector, right? Power it on to battery. Battery check is good. We'll hit the high voltage button. There's the high voltage button, there it is. And we're about 800 volts positive, 10 millivolts uh, pick up. And we're gonna set this to times 10, or times 1000, sorry. Times 100, times 10. Audio on, quick response. This is our background. Our background is about 2,000 counts a minute, right? Because 0, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, while on times 10. So, now let's expose ourselves to some fun stuff. Oh, that went up. We're going to set this to times 10. Or, sorry, times 100. Actually, yeah, times 100 we have 0. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. And through the lead, we're getting 10,000. There's a lot of fireworks going off. Let's see what's inside of this. And we're hard over. Cut the sound off. We're going to set this to a times 1,000 now. At one times 1,000, you multiply each one of these by 1,000, you have 0 to 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 counts per minute. Whatever this might be. What is this? This thing that's so hot. Well, let's put it up against this, like that. Let's move this towards it and see what we get. It's on quick response, and it's growing. We'll stop for a second let it catch up. A little closer. Almost 200,000 counts per minute. A little closer. It's pretty close. Let's move it a little closer. Let's move it to contact. And now let's do better than that. Let's take it with our hand pick it up and put it directly against. What does it do? My friends, we've just gone hard over on a Ludlum Model 12 with a one inch scintillator. Eureka. What could possibly be doing it? What could be making this go up so high? Why? It's Europium 152. And it's a little tiny bit greater than 37 kilobecquerels of Europium 152. All right. Now, since we've had fun with that, let's cover it back up again. There it is. Drop this back down to times 10. And now, now we have 0, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Let's look at one or two other quick things, and then we'll be done. Just some fun stuff. So we go over here, and I have a big bag. I have a big bag of fertilizer. I also have a big bag of potassium chloride salt. See? Potassium chloride salt. Lots of it actually. Look at all of these bags of potassium chloride salt. I bought them all in one gigantic water softener bag. See? Diamond crystals water softener. It's potassium chloride water softener. And you saw that it had 2,000 counts a minute. Wow, it's definitely the 4th of July. You hear that? It sounds like a war zone. So let's take this and let's put this on this and see what we get. This is one bag of water softener from the store. Let's put some sodium chloride on top of it. Or sorry, potassium chloride on top. And we're hard over. Let's set to times 100 now. Times 100. So now we're at 0, 0, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. And as you can see, we're at about 6 thousand counts per minute. Six thousand counts per minute off of this. And what is this again? This is nothing more 
in bags of potassium chloride. Thought I just happened to have a bunch of, see? Potassium chloride, that's all it is. Let's set this down to times 10 again. 0, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. You see it goes up a little bit when I go near it. <laughs> All right. That's fun. Now let's look at one. Ooh, somebody's got a really big firecracker. Let's go look at like, one last thing. I wonder what this could be. Well, make it two last things. All right, so here is a Fiesta Wear plate. I keep it outside. We take our detector. 3,000, 4,000. Okay, we're off the scale, so let's go to scale up before we go towards this again. Times 100. So, 0, 10, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, okay? Go back to this again and just put it on contact. Not bad. 11,000 counts per minute. Not as much as the Geiger counter, actually. And there's a reason. But this doesn't put off that many gamma rays. Yeah, is that a firecracker or a mortar? All right, one last thing and then we're done. Grab the unit. Let's go over here, past my work area. What is this big pile of stuff? What does it look like? Who knows? Let's see what's in it. I bet you there's something in this big pile of stuff. All right, so let's set the times 10 again. And that's zero, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Take the dial, the marker here, go towards whatever this is, and what do we get? Part over. Set it back to 100,000, uh, times 100, so it's 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50,000. Zero out the meter and let it build up. See what we get. Wow. 14,000 counts per minute. I wonder what's in this. Let's get rid of this. Move that away from it. Lift this up a little. Let's see what we. Oh, look at that. Uranium. Not my uranium, but your uranium. Take this, put it up against the uranium on contact, and we go off the scale. Go to times 1,000. So now it's 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000. Put it up against it. 100,000 counts per minute off the uranium. Not bad. Not bad. So anyway, there was a fun little video with our trusty Ludlum, whose name is Ryoki. Say hi, Ryoki. Hi. Happy 4th of July.